Hey babe. Hi Ansem. How's it going? Good. I miss you. I miss you. You're really far away right now. <laughs> um, so, I know we just like, from our clients, we get a lot of questions around like, like how do we make an entrepreneurial marriage or an entrepreneurial relationship work? Because yeah. um, I think a lot, of, a lot of people who are entrepreneurs struggle to communicate with their partners. They struggle yeah. with like the whole journey. It's very difficult to understand. Yeah. Um, so I kind of wanted to just like chat with you and yeah. kind of like get your thoughts on the process. Um, this is my favorite thing to talk about. I could talk about it for days. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. So we'll try and keep this shorter than days okay. so that people actually listen. But okay. uh, so I want, I, I know we've got, we've got a handful of things that we implement in our marriage and in our relationship and I want to make sure that we get those to people. Um, but before we get into kind of like the things that we implement in our marriage uh, that really helps us. Um, I think, you know, we, we've always gotten questions like, you know, like, are you guys actually that, like, perfect as a couple? <laughs> um, and so I wanted to, like, yeah. kind of, like, ask you about some of the things that we've overcome and some of the things that we've been through. Um, so I think uh, I'll just start off with that. Like, what do you feel is, like, one of the biggest things that we've had to overcome in our relationship? Oh, that's a tough first question. Um, so I think... It's interesting. I think I would say the the biggest thing, which may not sound very big to a lot of people, but um, I would say the biggest thing for us is was probably when we were first dating, and it was definitely the the long distance. I don't think it was. Yeah. It wasn't. Um, I don't know. Nine thousand miles sounds pretty big to me. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, no, but that was like that was hard, and it wasn't. I wouldn't say it was necessarily like a strain on our relationship, but it was hard being so far apart and yeah. having to figure that out and I think um, you know us being entrepreneurs kind of yeah. made our own way of, of figuring that out and we made it as best as we could so but. Let, let me let me kind of ask you this because like I think so many people always like I've always heard growing up like long distance never works mm -hmm. yet you and I made it work from Australia to the US for almost a year like yeah. what made it different for us you you're just amazing <laughs> Well, that's cheating because nobody else can date me. <laughs> okay. So what, what, what else um, made it different? <laughs> I think we were just committed to figuring out how to make it work. Like one of the things we mentioned from the beginning was, um, and I wouldn't say even just making it work, but making it like amazing. And so I think one of the things we always committed to was date night every single week. And so it's like, even okay, though Yeah, even though we were 9,000 miles apart. Yeah, so it was like, okay, how do we make this work? So, you know, I remember it was Friday evening for you and it would be like Saturday morning, like 10 a.m. for me. And you'd order some food in, and I would like, you know, be having breakfast, and I'd have a glass of wine with you <laughs> yeah. at breakfast, like. Because in Australia, it's okay to drink at 10 a.m. Yeah, because. it was just like we would have our date night every single week, no matter yeah. what. I think, um, you know, we definitely made sure that we communicated. I think for me, it was definitely harder than it was for you, and I think uh, a big reason for that was, or a big reason, I guess I should say that um, we kind of move through that was because of our level of just being open and willing to communicate like I remember in the beginning yeah. uh, you know when we very first started dating I remember just being like at the first within the first month being like okay this this is like completely not what I'm like I want to speak to you at least like a couple times a week on zoom or like yeah. FaceTime like I want to see your face and I don't want to just message and and you were still very focused on your business and yeah. so it was you know in the beginning, had I not communicated that, I probably would have been like, this just isn't working, he's not interested, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And so we really had to have that conversation of like, hey, this is really, like, I really need this level of communication and you were open to yeah. to doing that. But like, you didn't know what I needed in and the I beginning. Think, so that, that kind of brings me to like the next question was like, you know, what are what are some of the things that we've had to overcome uh, you know, uh, not just overcome, but what are the what are the difficulties that we've had in our relationship? And I think you you just brought up a good one. It's like, um, you know, there are things that that you need that I'm not aware of, and there are yeah. things that I need that you weren't aware of, mm -hmm. right? And I think in every relationship, there's going like one person's going to have needs or wants. Yeah. Um, you know, and this is why I like the five love languages. If you guys haven't yeah. like checked out the five love languages, definitely check it out. Um, but like knowing each other's needs and wants yeah. and being able to communicate that really, really kind of helped us through. Well, I think that's a big thing that I do want to emphasize because I think so many people just assume that you, you should know. And even after like we've been dating yeah. for how long now, right? And it's like, you should know that I need this. Yeah. You should know that I want this. And I remember like, it, I sounded so stupid asking this. This is the first thing that came up for me. It just made me smile. But I remember there was a point in my business where, um, you know, I was putting so much out there and I felt like I wasn't getting anything in return. And, and you're not even, you know, like I remember you're not even really in 
you know, Instagram 24 seven. Yeah. And I remember just being like, you know what? I want, I just want you to like comment on my post and, and support me. Yeah. And it sounded so stupid, but I like, it, at the time it just meant a lot to me. I was like, yeah. I just wanted to like. And like at the I, time I, like, I didn't even have time... my own Instagram password. It was run by our social media yeah. team, right? So and I wasn't even in there. It's stupid <laughs> because for me, it's like, I get that, like that affirmation of, you know, you comment like, I'm so yeah. proud of you. And it just like gives me the butterflies. No matter, yeah. like even now, if you like something yeah. of mine, like it just makes me smile. And so I remember being like, I know this sounds stupid and it's so petty, but this would make me really happy. Yeah. And you know, it you can literally say, Well, you should you should just be able to do this or you should know this. And it's like you weren't you weren't to know that. You had no idea that that's I what I needed. No idea, yeah. Um and so I think for us we're constantly communicating on what we need and we're constantly communicating you know if if things are maybe not leading up to those expectations of like hey you know i really need this i got you babe there's a green bug oh oh god that was this is why we're such a great couple because i save you from the scary i save you from the scary bugs that come in case you you guys didn't realize i almost died from a big green beetle (laughs) so make sure that you marry someone who can protect you from insects that are trying to kill you um, I lost my train of thought now. I'm gone. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, let's skip forward. What are the what are the three? Let's see the three most important things that we implement in our in our in our business in our relationship um, that kind of keep us growing together. So I think, and I, I mentioned this before. I think the overarching part is always communication. That's something that we um, are continuously working on. Like there's times we have a saying nothing good comes from closing and yeah. you pull me up on that so many times it'll be like you know something will happen and maybe I feel upset and me being a coach I'm like I know I shouldn't be upset at this it's a trigger of mine like this isn't even something that he's doing like I just need to process through it but the problem is you feel that disconnect yeah. and so you feel me closing off and so even though I'm just trying to process through it you feel me closing off and so you know we have this like you'll pull me up on it and just be like hey I really feel this disconnect here and I'm like okay and I you know will open up and explain what's going yeah. on but I think even that in itself, it's this level of just over communication yeah. because and allowing that over communication and yeah. understanding that some things are going to be emotional and not necessarily logical. Yes. Right. So there's a lot of things that I will communicate to you that you have to be able to receive. So you know, I will communicate like, "Hey, I'm just feeling blah blah blah," and it'll just be this like vomit of emotion. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, it doesn't even seem justified in my head, but yeah. that's just how I'm feeling. But and this, this is, is what's kind of going that, on. That yeah. feminine energy, right? But you are able to just be open and with that communication, you're able to just kind of take yeah. it as it needs to be. But I think communication definitely is always a big piece. And then I would say- So that's number one. Number that's number two. one. Uh, number two is we do relationship reviews. And again, this comes back to communication, but every single month, the relationship reviews has been a game changer for us. So this is when we, you know, we don't know what each other needs, right? So like every single month we have a bunch of questions and it's like, it always starts off with, uh, on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate our relationship overall? And I ask you these questions, and then you ask me once once you're you're yeah. done. And um, you know, I'll say like, how would you rate our relationship? And if it's anything less than ten, then you what know, would make what it would 10? make it a ten? And then it'll be, you know, like, how would you rate the level at which you're feeling loved? How would you rate the level at which I'm fulfilling your love languages? Um, how would you rate our physical intimacy? Like, we, we ask all of these questions because there's times when I think I'm a 10 and he's like, no, you're a 7. Like, you're not a 10. I'm like, okay, well, what can I be doing, right? Yeah. Like, there's times when I feel like I'm doing well and maybe I'm not, or there's times when vice versa. So, or maybe there's times when... I'm just I feel being like willing I'm, to have that conversation again yeah. between communication and get that feedback so we can get it to a 10. Yeah, and that's every single month. Like, we sit yeah. down and we go through that every single month. Um, and, and that's been an absolute game changer for us. So I think that's been a really big thing is just constantly, you know, people say, uh, like, you can't measure love. And there's another saying for it that I can't quite remember. Well, we do a damn good job We do a really good love. job at it. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, again, if we come back to, like, putting some numbers on this, like, actually getting some things that we can rate yeah. ourselves on. Um, And then I guess the third piece, if I was to pick one, I think it would still be the gratitude and the love. So so this comes back to uh, the honeymoon phase and we've had people that say, you know, oh yeah, but you know, you're still in the honeymoon phase and I'm like, I don't know, like we've been dating for a while now, you know, but we are committed to being in the honeymoon phase. So it's like, I, I don't consider this a phase, I consider this a commitment that like we're committed to for the rest of our lives. Yeah. Um, and so to never like, stop dating, to never yeah. stop being in that honeymoon phase. Yeah. yeah, and so you know we do a bunch of different things. 
you know, when it comes back to love languages, yours is words of affirmation. So I'm leaving you stick it notes every day. Like when yeah. you go to the gym, it's like, okay, this is random. I don't do this every single time you go to the gym, but I'll leave a note on so that you see it on the door on your way in. Or, you know, you still wake me up in the morning and you wake me up with like a song in the morning. Yeah. Like it's the most romantic and adorable <laughs> thing ever. Um, and just little things that we do that we're constantly making sure that every day we're, um, you know, we're treating each other like we are in that honeymoon phase, like we are dating. And one of the other things that um, I know both of us really love is every time before we go to bed, we have uh, a little ritual that we say to each other. And it's one thing that we're grateful for and one thing that we love about each other. So it's like, what am I grateful for and, and what do I love about you? And just continuing, I think, you know, you're obviously going to grow and you're going to evolve in your yeah. relationship. And I think the, the beauty about that, if you're open to it, is seeing that growth and being grateful for that growth and, and acknowledging that growth. And I think a lot of people can tend to grow apart because instead of really, you know, acknowledging that, they're yeah. trying to date someone that was like 20 years ago. So, you know, we're constantly being grateful for each other in the present and finding things to love about each other in the present. And I think that's also a really special thing. Yeah, I, think, I think that's huge. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So that's all it takes to have a successful entrepreneurial marriage. Yeah. If you want to know more, I'll chat with you for days. Yeah. That's all it takes, guys. <laughs> Remember, you didn't sign up for easy, you signed up for impact. <laughs>